European Space Agency. The stuff that they did with landing on the comet, we do part of the compute platform and the network that sits behind that. So one of the questions is, why another cloud? Why not stick everything in AWS, in Azure, or build it yourself? And I think there are a number of reasons for this. And I'm, this is not bashing the competitors, but it's to give a more pragmatic approach to why have different vendors to do different things. So the first thing is cost. Most of the providers uh, in cloud are all based in the States. You will have noticed recently Azure just knocked all of their prices up by 16%. If you're a European provider, a European player, to actually have some cost sensitivity and cost control, it's an important one to have. But here, it's only to a degree. For some people, it may not be. For other customers, not being on a US provider may be uh, something apl applicable. So you may have data that you need to host for customers that isn't applicable for Safe Harbor or the Patriot Act, something you may need to consider. The other thing is availability. AWS this weekend had an outage. The reality is, is all providers have outages at one point. But should you adopt a multi-vendor strategy to protect against that? And then finally, control. If you stick everything in one provider against one set of tools, if that provider has an issue, your site's going to go down. And it's an important thing to remember that you are the SLA to your customers, whether those are internal or external. And finally, performance. The reason for this talk is why build it on a different cloud? Well, our cloud is noticeably faster than the others. So what is Virtual Data Center? So first of all, it's built on our great big network. Our network is global. It covers all of Europe. It covers right the way across into the States and across into Asia. And on top of that, Virtual Data Center is a huge infrastructure as a service platform. So it's CPU, RAM, and storage in locations right the way around the world. It's built into our great big network. And this is one of the reasons why our cloud is a hell of a lot faster than the others. And the interesting thing that this brings to you is, as it's built on our network, you get that network completely for free. So if you build a site and it's hosted in one of our zones in London, and you also build it in New York, and you also build it in Hong Kong, the front-end public access is in each of those locations. But you also then get this private back-end network to do all of your sync, replication, and backup. It means that all of your private stuff stays private and your public stuff stays public. And that back-end integration is one of the key big performance factors. If you can keep things private and away from the internet, you get a huge performance increase when you need to do back-end services. AWS, Azure, Rackspace, every other cloud provider pretty much does cloud like this. Three separate zones, all connected over the public internet. If you want to link those zones together, so if you want to link AWS availability zones, multi-region, you're going to likely do this over, thing, over IPsec or through SDN, all over the public internet. And for any of you that are devs that aren't network devs, it's often an absolute nightmare or particularly a pain to actually configure. So the main thing is, is you go to, for a multi-zonal approach, it's all running over the public internet. You've got no SLA on how it's going to perform. The way that we've done it, the same three zones, but with the back end on this great big private network. So the guarantees for the interzonal connectivity is absolutely assured. So from your end users on the public internet, right the way through to where the compute is and to where the compute and the different zones are, there is an end-to-end -end SLA right the way across that. The platform is itself as well, we do straight normal cloud. So this is shared computing on shared servers. All the RAM is guaranteed, and you get a two-to-one contention on the CPU. It's still pretty quick when it's compared to the other providers. The thing that then makes us start to be slightly different is we then also do dedicated hardware, so dedicated blades. So one of our reasonable-sized customers, Photobox, who are a big European uh, con consumer sales where they do things like uh, coffee cups and mouse mats, these guys in the Christmas run-up, they took 47 individual blades from us, 72 terabytes of RAM. They turned it up for an eight-week period and then ripped it right the way back down. So you get performance through doing this on dedicated service, uh, dedicated hardware, but as a service. The other thing we do is then do straight co-location and still all tied into this one great big private predictable network. The other thing as well is, where, why is the performance? Where do you have performance from your end customers that are out on the public internet back through to your own site? So one of the main things that causes this is actually latency. So latency for many sites, if you're on a provider where everything's over in Dublin and you're here down in Spain, you're 12, 15, 18 milliseconds away from this. It's quite a long way to be if you've actually got quite an interactive website. The closer you move your customers to your actual web websites and to your servers, the quicker it is. The performance goes better. And as the performance on each server gets better, you need less of them, so it lowers your cost. 
So across Europe, you'll see here, each of these blue zones is where we've actually got data centers. So it's not the case of we're just in Amsterdam in Dublin. We're here. We're in Spain. We're in France. We're in Italy. We've got two sites over in Switzerland, two over in Germany, all connected onto that private big backbone network, but also far closer to your customers. Over in the States, we've got East, West, and Central, and over in Asia, we've got Hong Kong and Singapore as well. So onto the performance bit, what does it actually mean? So the first chart, this is latency. This is us compared with all of the providers. You'll see the latency on us is actually quite a bit less. But the important thing about the performance is, is you build cloud into a private network, the public side of it gets a hell of a lot quicker. Um, you're not going to see from the distance here, but on the left-hand side, this is how quick to get over the public internet between us, Amazon, Rackspace, and Azure. On us, everyone was running about 500 megabits or less per individual server. We were running about 1.2 gigabits a second. You take that on a consumer level where you're presenting out to the public internet, these things are a hell of a lot quicker. So finally, um, why do things differently? Why go to another cloud vendor? So if you build it into a big private network and one that's controlled end to end, things are measurably quicker. What we do is um, it's, it's, uh, we provide fully managed services. So one of the other things that's quite different to AWS and others is we provide a fully managed uh, hosting service as well. We'll do up, do up to the OS. You then look after your stack that sits on top of that. Private by default. If you go global, you build it into a private network, it means that you can start to build out zones and actually get close to your customers but keep back-end control and security built into the network. And finally, location-specific. Don't just host everything in Dublin or one place, especially across Europe. If you've got customers that need things in individual European territories, we can actually certainly help with that. And finally, come down to the stand downstairs. We'll give you a hands-on demo. And I think in all of the uh, free bags that everyone's got, you've all got a month free try it on this. of unlimited resources anywhere in the world. So do definitely give it a go and see how it compares to your existing cloud provider. So any questions at all? Uh, no, um, so the question was, do we have anyone in China? Uh, no, not at the moment, but we are speaking to two separate um, customers, one for in India, one for uh, Australia as well. Gen we generally build extra zones as they come along with the customer requirement. So if there is one there, we can likely build it out pretty quickly. Great. No more questions. I'll take silence as golden. Thank you very much for your time.